Oh yeah. It ain't over, mother. <laughs> this is the beef between NWA and Mob Style. Oh, you ain't think I forgot. <laughs> I just let y'all starve for it. <laughs> But no, Mob Style is AZ, Pretty Tone, Gangsta Lou, and you know, I don't know if y'all remember, what's his name? What? What? <laughs> and they were the gangsters of the streets. Like, these were some, like, Harlem cats. You know, they was really gangsters. They, they rap style wasn't as on point. But if you've seen Paid in Full, you know what I'm saying? Then you know what I'm talking about. These dudes was really <laughs> plugged. You know, AZ really went to the music side of things and started putting out his guys from the streets. And these was real gangsters. <laughs> they, they had really did things in the hood. So people knew that was around them. There was no question about their solidifying themselves as gangsters. So that was no problems there. And then they came out with that their first out that they put out. It didn't really go like global, but the, they had the good, the bad, the ugly. And you know, they were dissing NWA on there. Actually uh throwing jabs at them. And NWA at this time, like it didn't really get back to them. At first, until it was picking up momentum. Because they kept talking about how these fake gangsta MCs and doing all this. Now, if MWA would have said nothing, they would have thought nothing. But when they did that show on the East Coast and it went, it didn't go good. Like, they were with, uh, at the time, they were with, uh, they were on tour with Ice T, uh, Public Enemy. Uh, shoot, there were so many people on the tour back then because you ain't had the luxury of be like, man, I'm going to do my own tour. You had to go with everybody else. You had to go with the flow. Wherever the money was going, that's where you went. So you didn't have the luxury to say, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. No, we doing this now. <laughs> we need this money. We need these shows. So we need to hit these cities. So the NWA show they did in New York, it didn't go so hot. They was actually booed. They weren't even an opening. I mean, they weren't even a headliner. They were like one of the opening acts. Like Public Enemy was closing the show. They had uh, LL on there, PE, all that. I mean, it was like a Def Jam show. So when it was over, and they went back to the crib, and Ice T, I mean, Ice Cube ended up splitting with the group and going, you know, more with PE is doing the Bomb Squad thing. When uh, NWA was working on their next album, this was mentioned because they found out why people in New York was this and like, oh, dog, y'all fake gangsters. Yeah, y'all fake. Y'all ain't no real gangsters. We got real gangsters here, boy. They got the Mob Squad. Y'all know nothing about that Mob Squad, that Mob Style. I'm like, oh, the Mob Style started coming around and gaining momentum and doing all this stuff, like getting some buzz in the street. NWA was making a song already to get at them. And they did this on the tour bus. When uh, Ren and them sat back and they was like, man, him and Doc. And they wrote out the song uh, Real Nick. And Easy e was the one they let do the diss. Because Easy e was the only really real gangster besides him and Ren. They were the ones to really set the tone. So they let Easy do that verse. Easy didn't diss Ice Cube on real niggas. He was dissing Mob Style. And that's why he started off the good, the bad, the ugly. See, a little street run, you know me, rolling with some real niggas. Man, keep, keeps. But you mother know who run the streets with all that hardcore hip hop rap. Try to look like us, just like us, sound like us, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. So, nigga, 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 please, since you own the 
why don't you drop to your knees? Cause I'm a mother that's out to kill. Easy E. That's real. So, really, straight off the streets to cops. <laughs> Quick to get in your, in without second thought. If your ass is smoke, it's my bullet in Chicago. So if you talking about the boys in black, <laughs> bow down to the kings of rated A. <coughs> so, uh, that, you know, like needless to say, <laughs> everybody was a target after that. Mob Style just got dissed by N.W.A. And N.W.A. album was, that, that song was on the EP. See, people don't realize it was on the EP and the LP. And on the EP, when it was out on the streets 100 miles and running, they had NWA 100 miles and running when they came back to New York. Anybody coming back to New York, you better be ready. They was going to have you 100 miles and running. Because as, as, as soon as that hit, first the person to get it was Q. Q got it because Q was on stage and Public Enemy and the Nation of Islam had to roll up on them brothers and that was like, oh, you cannot come back to the Apollo in Harlem <laughs> and do no shows if you had a problem with mob style. That was just the way it was. People knew that. You know, a lot of them ran into problems with the law, the dudes getting locked up, you know, and Pretty Tom was doing what he was doing and... A lot of people, a lot of members, they got broke up because of the law. They they kept it too real. If they just kept it, you know, doing their thing, they'd have been straight. It was crazy. At that time, uh, they had, uh, what was that, Ice Cube and Chuck D and the Nation rolled down on them and it was done at that time. Because Pretty Tone... At the, he had a squad called, what was that, the, the Wolf Pack. Wolf Pack came in, did they thing, whooped up on a couple of brothers that was there for NWA. And they had to break out when they came to do their show. Because Pretty Tone had led the charge. And AZ and him went out and put out a mixtape, but Pretty Tone was in there smashing dudes. Him and the, him and the Wolf Pack. <laughs> so... Q got a pass because he wasn't with NWA no more. But some of the dudes didn't know it at that time, so they was trying to get to him. So that's why the nation jumped in. Now, AZ dropped a song after that called Don't Diss Nobody. And they was talking, you know, they was called Niggas with Activators, NW Gay. <laughs> Yeah, they was talking about, hey man, y'all dudes like it like Al, Al Sharpton <laughs> with Shane. Easy, he's Jerry Kerr, only homosexuals. <laughs> oh man, he's like, all oh, y'all need to go suck a D with AIDS. I'm like, oh my gosh. And shit around the way Upon the location Change the station If you know what you're facing Assassination The brain is the target Don't get me started I get cold, retarded And empty the clip So all punks better dip Cause A got the gun cop on his hip So apologize Or everybody in your ride Will lose their lives You got me covered But look who's on the other side Sneak, 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 sneak Sneak up behind the junk You hear nothing Bat, bat, bat Now you're dead in a coffin you wonder what's the oozy does it? I'm the man to fend the bus. 
Once his belly full of the ball Every time my trigger was pulled On the faggot ass nigga who thought he was bigger Greater Niggas we activators We in the list and gators Just up in the dick But there is Jerry now and it's trying to diss I won't hack this I murder your bastard Go to your funeral Kick off your little ass casket Anybody moan a weep or shed a tear Be the next motherfucker leaving here So put down the white flag When I pull my mag fag Beef would only stop with some bodies in a body bag Now read the tag on your toe ho Cause fucking with AZ Yo, that's a no no That's a no no Not for your vein, faggot motherfucker will spit on a nigga in the rain. Don't even try it, you won't throw a rock in the ride. Your little hip hop worm, the only thing is shooting the sperm. I'm a penicillin, you're the germ. I'm killing everything in sight, leaving on the first flight tonight. Me and my crew, you on the other, and they do under you. AZ, rip tone, the gangsta loot. What's the count? One, three, two. The battleground, New York, the city, and how the town. I don't fuck around from back in the day. I murder motherfuckers, that's my trade. You're Pussy motherfucker, suck a dick with AIDS Rockin' Jerry Curls, might as well rock braids I smack you like a bitch, give you a reason to wear shades Cause your niggas a booty, and that's word to mother Your man left, cause y'all was fucking one another And I don't kill your lover, cause he choose another And stop murdering your brother, cause he sports another color You're beefing with us, you little pussy motherfucker Motherfucker, motherfucker. Pretty Tone Capone, don't compare to Ghostface Killer they two different people. <laughs> Pretty Tone Capone from Harlem. He came out after the uh, Niggas for Life album drop. He came out with his his uh, he had the the mixtape case dismissed. And he had the song Kidnap when he had a skit when uh, he was running up on Easy E and kidnapping him and torturing him, comparing him to M Miss Shelley. But at this point, N.W.A. had other things bigger than him. That that thing they had became a local stamp. And if this was some like on the corner, like it's some cool thing in Harlem, New York. So the Apollo was this. They locked down in Harlem. Other barrels was filling them. Based on the fact that somebody was rapping, rapping New York and they was tired of hearing about Compton this and Compton that. No matter what you do in rap and hip hop, it's always going to be somebody that's tired of it. <laughs> and they just like want to hear somebody say, man, F them dudes. And when they hear that, they rally behind it. And that's what was happening there in New York. But when Tim Dog did it, it went to another level. Because he was able to transcend from from like video to get, the, get the song all the way to the west coast the way it did it was like direct he was dissing the entire city the way he did it and it was crazy at that time and this was after that <laughs> this was after that record came out so all of this happened after that fact. They just took that and said, "Cool, these guys dissing them, we dissing them too." Haul them on the map. And the fact that they actually got a response back from NWA was enough to keep them keep them going, even though they names weren't mentioned. It was enough to keep that going. I'm out.